Ivy Benson's fingers flew across the saxophone's keys as nimble as any man's. When she blew through the reed, her alto tone sounded as pure as any man's. In the orchestra behind her, 20 women swung the mood as strong as 20 men. Over the wireless, in front rooms and at the front, the music sounded the same as that played by any men. But some of the men listening in 1943 knew they weren't listening to men and that the BBC's resident dance orchestra was now Ivy Benson's all-girl band made them so furious they had to act. Ivy's rival band leaders met in secret to plot against her. They sent petitions to the BBC demanding they remove her. BBC executives ordered investigations into why they'd hired her. Bitter arrangers wrote deliberate mistakes into her sheet music to sabotage her. And despite it all, the listeners loved her. During the war, servicemen were sending Ivy and the girls 300 fan letters a week. Touring the military bases of Europe, soldiers would make up to members of her orchestra after the show, and she would lose players to marriage proposals. A bigger battle for Benson than the actions of a few jealous band leaders back home. But it was more than a few. The chauvinists had been the majority all Ivy's life since she was a girl playing piano in the working men's clubs until she was a saxophonist trying to get a gig on the crowded nightclub circuit. When she did get a show, she got it because female musicians were cheap or expected to be. That wasn't good enough for Ivy. She could play as well as any man and resolved that her orchestra would too and be paid for it the same. And for good measure, her girls would sway a tailor-made gown better than any man too. And if any man thought otherwise, well, he could always join the band. Sabotage, rumour and chauvinism were never far away. The club circuits did all they could to resist her. But Ivy, a South Leeds girl who'd done a stint in Montague Burton's factory, would not be denied the place in the world of music and diamonds that her talent was demanding. Then she made room for other women who had the talent but not the opportunity. She took a girl from a pie factory and made her a bassist. And over 40 years, she did it for 250 bold, brave women who traveled the world, formed their own bands, and never forgot that Ivy Benson made their careers possible. Without Ivy, where would we go? We were not accepted in a man's world. But Ivy Benson did not believe in accepting a man's world and the world of music she created for other women is celebrated by this plaque at her childhood home in Beeston. <laughs>